then we can proceed to the next section here uh, take this off right so we can um, have this as a background I guess um, then the Butka show logo here you can delete that you can just have you know maybe this can be an entire image by itself uh, so pretty simple section the next section is pretty simple uh, compared to this one uh, download page two there you go so all we have to do is crop this um, image we got 72 and then perhaps you know 700 and then save that we got dick but this uh, statue uh, and profile photo there you go what we do is add another section um, it's a two row section mm, with the background you know that one and then let me think of it here so we got dick butkus legend on the right side and the image on the left uh, yeah which can be a, an image itself uh, so let's see mm. 267 so we have to anything that's above um 100 yeah we should resize All right resize that what happened the size and then uh, yeah I think that's better now 90 Kapag si Giao Yao ay gato gato dilo kanya mo, mo de ni de, yun ay sabasta basta, so
So we're done with the second uh, section. If you saw what I did, uh, you know, first I made this row a hundred percent in width, of course, and you know, equalize column yes, so that the the text on the right side will be you know, first um, will be. vertically centered and then of course the spacing turn off the padding to zero and you, also the section turn that to zero in the background you know and then add the text on the right side of course we added the image on the left side um, the text is an h2 and then 122 pixels um yeah maybe 10 or 8 maybe 8 yeah 8 um like that then we'll see if that works on you know what to make it simpler i'm just gonna change the design like <laughs> oh, there's no use of trying to uh complicate things so that's better <laughs> i guess let's continue with the third section uh, this one here but i'm not sure if we can use this one because but because foundation is no longer existing so right yeah no longer existing so as a service provider or web designer web developer freelancer when things like this happen and you know uh, this is supposed to show how charitable dick butkas is i would suggest you find something like you know their own website for example this one foundation 
you can do is copy this and then go to Bard and ask Bard to rewrite the content so that it won't be a duplicate um, copy or the, du it will be tagged by Google as duplicate copy of his existing website you know and Google Bard is pretty uh, simple to use so just say you know please rewrite the following copy below semicolon shift enter and then paste you know and wait for it right so what I'm planning to do is just add his picture and then some you know copy there on the third section so here is the home page so far no the one pager so far I'm sorry if I wasn't able to um, dictate what I was doing you know while I was doing it because it's really hard to it's, it's kind, sometimes it's a challenge to say things or you know tell people what you're doing um, right on the go but hopefully you understood why I decided to make this picture an entire picture uh, a one picture oh no this picture just one image um, and this picture here as one image and why I decided to center this rather than you know uh, having it like having it exactly the same as this one because on on smaller size uh, laptops like the 1280 you know it's gonna be really hard to fit that if that's or to put it in the same place so anyways um after we're done with the layout on on you know the large screen um, desktops after we're, we are done with that we can start um, with our responsive uh, mobile responsive optimization basically making the website look good on any device whether it's smaller laptops you know smaller resolutions tablets and phones so let's just continue for now with the third um with the third section uh, all right so what we do is enable the visual builder again and add a section um I would say uh, this one here. So we have to maybe delete this photo here. This don't make sense. You know, displaying the screenshot of a website that doesn't exist anymore. Okay. It's because you know you need to download not all thirteen pages but page number three. Looks like it's gonna rain, man. It's getting pretty gloomy here in our city again the oro so what i'm gonna do is uh, crop that and do not include uh, do not include the round edges because you can do that right on the um page builder itself uh, maximum I think this is okay uh, all right and then check that out if that's below 100 okay so it's not so what you're gonna do is export it again and probably use the high settings and then just replace the old one 
and then refresh see if that's any smaller it's 49 uh, I think that's too small export it use uh, very high quality then replace it again refresh 85 that's perfect so what do is go back to our page builder upload that photo um, so I think it's none of our this one is 317 kilobytes because it's PNG so that's okay um, any PNG files, it will be higher resolution than JPEGs because of the, its transparency. And then we go to, we click on the image, um, click on settings, design, border, uh, go to round corners and set the round corners to probably 10 pixels, right? So maybe 20. 20 pixels there you go and then we need some uh, text I always you know for every section you should if there's a headline you should start with an h2 uh, basically for every page there should be one h1 headlines and the rest of the sections if they have a headline should be h2 and then you know go from there if there's another headline um, that's lower in the in the hierarchy of um, uh, the text or the copy, then that's H3 and then H4, uh, which is good for SEO. So we have charitable leader, copy that, and then paste it here, and then make it, you know, so that it's a little bigger than this h2 uh, so that that's 42 maybe make it 62 right anyways we'll adjust that uh, depending on you know on 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 the sizes of uh, what, what it looks like on the other uh, monitor sizes but I think you know 52 is good yeah at 62 is good um based on the design itself and then you get you copy the you know, generated um revised content or text from uh bard and then I usually just add another text module and paste that there and then you adjust uh, the margin because usually um, text modules by default on DV has a margin so if you go to you know design click on zero that will adjust it for you uh, I think that's so good that's good right then probably I probably would add another um, section I guess this photo we can use this one yeah. and save that no it's a web B file hmm let's see if it's a web B file and you can just go ahead and screenshot and and crop that in your Photoshop that's what I do <laughs> It's a web P file. Uh, web P files are basically just, you know, uh, optimized by the CDN or you know WordPress or the the, the plugins in WordPress. That there there are plugins in WordPress that optimizes your photo. Um, so that it won't be downloadable in a sense, you know, and used by other people in their websites but you know since this is our you know he dick butkus allowed 
um, uh, allowed Wellness Now uh, to use this uh, website to be added to the one pager of butkusshow.com and that's that's okay um, and um, let's see if that's 120 kilobytes for a size like this it's okay uh, add another row or image and then upload that okay um let's see what I'm gonna do here probably center this so and then also add one check I do is copy right click on the image copy module styles and paste module styles and, and then align it again there you go then we have the text here which you know we can also have Bard um, rewrite like that. Copy this, make that a text, copy this module, and paste it at the bottom. Um, um, I would say adjust the sizing of this one, like for the max, max width would be the same width as the photo, 1042. I'm making yeah, 1024. Right. Center that. And then for the next section, we have like we have this three. Um, usually I just copy that with the text, but you know, I want to show how we can improve the design. Let's just add insert a row, you know, three columns, and then add them as blurbs. Um and then we got that copy that here encourages young athletes paste that on the body uh, make this uh capital letters All right as you see there and what i'm gonna do is use an icon and then use a check icon and then go to design image and then you scroll down you see image icon image slash icon placement which is you put it in the left side right which makes it look like uh kind of a list type or a, you know um, list of services or you know programs which looks good and then we can adjust the title which is the h4 uh, probably around 32 uh too big 24 there you go and then copy that because we have three more Let's do it. Let's paste that there Provides uh, again. Paste that there. One thing I do with this list types of list is 
change the custom gutter width. Basically, the 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 the, the spacing between the columns. And then let's continue. The Butkus Award. Paste that again in the title. On hands. And then you copy the styles of this row. Paste that there. And there you go. We're done with the third uh, section. And then we have this section here, the fourth section, which is the awards. Um, what I will do is delete this uh, to get the background first. I don't know, just it's just how it works. But you know, it's page four, current page. Download that. Canva. Then what you can do with um, um you have that and then change the background to this the navy blue um okay. and then for this uh video I'm just gonna let's do a parallax right? Do a parallax. Um, you have to adjust the image 920, maybe 72. Now it's always 72 pixels, pixels per inch when it comes to websites. So. Then save that as a JPEG. I would say hi. Um, but because awards background. Uh, background bg statue okay check that out see if yeah 76 kilobytes is really good mm. for the speed uh and then click on the section settings go to background image upload that image here paste it and then click on parallax so basically parallax will scroll parallax is um scrolls while the user scrolls but you know let's just continue and add uh, what i'm gonna do is get the original design back so we got h2 and then it text h2 and then text alignment middle uh, we got you know uppercase and then uh, 62 pixels uh, and then have this one h3 that will be an h3 right h3 and you can adjust the text because it's the same text um, module right the middle text align center um what you do is go to headline text styles no design then go to h3 and then i would say light or maybe regular i guess no light uh and then probably around 42 pixels yeah and then we add them three columns because uh, uh, there's three people here uh, i'm not gonna do this you know, uh angle i mean we can do it but it's gonna be it will take us some time um so i think we're gonna make this simple um uh, not gonna do the edges here or the red background of this uh, text uh, instead we're just gonna do a square um there are numbers uh there are there 
are several ways or a few ways that you can do this actually but it's gonna take more time um, maybe use SVG but for now let's just keep it simple you know let's just um, just make this into a red background right and then add padding right. Uh, yep. and then, uh, mm -hmm. center this uh, and then add an image which is we already okay we did not download that so we need to download it first on these images let's delete this and delete that delete the background and delete that one else. then save as png download up first yeah that um, export as PNG um, uh, award D one in the award D one and we have here award D two Do. They don't have names. Uh, have this guy over here. Ord three. Whatever. Ord three. Then yeah. upload the PNGs. Um, comments, I guess. We got people here first one alignment go to design alignment and then take off the margin here and then I guess position this to be overlapping There you go. Then adjust this one to have bigger uh, padding. Just to even it out. I don't know. I think I did 70. So, yeah. And then. Maybe instead of. Uh, not really sure if this will work, but hmm. yeah, on the pickles. Yeah, yeah, I think this will work right. Yeah, looks good. And then that copy this. Oops. Place that there. And then copy this. Paste that here. And the second guy in the suit. Mm -hmm. You can also like do it like this, delete that, and then copy this. And then professional award. Yeah. Go. Uh, 
I think we should adjust this a little bit. Almost 60, you know, just to put some space between the text and the image. Change this image here. And we're done. You know? Alright. We look at it in the... There you go. Alright, so this is a parallax, kind of a scrolling scrolling effect, right? Uh, then 